Today, in our video, we want to go over a simple concept in physics called displacement. Uh, physics may sound scary, but it really is just the explanation and description of the way matter moves. The explanation and description of the way matter moves. So when there is a change of a piece of matter, a brick, from one location to another location, we have had what in physics is called displacement. Change in location from one place to another of some matter. Um, hitting a golf ball. Displacement. It starts on the tee and it ends wherever the shot ends and that movement of the ball starting on the tee and ending up out in the fairway hopefully in physics is called displacement. Now when we think about displacement we can actually uh, write it out and, and uh, describe it mathematically. And this is what makes physics so great. It's a mathematical description of the motion of matter and can be very precise, which is very helpful. So displacement then is the final position of the golf ball on the fairway minus the original position with the ball on the tee. And we often talk about that in terms of, hey, he just drove the ball 280 yards. So that 280 yards is it a description of the displacement of the golf ball 280 yards down the fairway from the beginning point on the tee. Final position minus the original position, 280 yards. And when we talk about it in those terms, just the size of that displacement, the distance traveled, that is a scalar quantity. Scalar is magnitude or size alone. We didn't talk anything about direction. Did it go 280 yards uh, down the fairway um, straight, or did it hook, or did it slice? Um, did it go 500 feet straight up and then come down? Uh, we didn't talk about direction at all. We just measured the size or the magnitude. So magnitude equals size, or the measurement of the displacement, 280 yards. Now when we add direction to the magnitude or size, we get what's called a vector. So the difference between vectors and scalars is the difference between having the magnitude alone or having the magnitude plus the direction. And I've got some examples here on the board that we're going to look at. If I say something was moved five meters to the right, I have both magnitude, the size, in this case the distance moved, five meters, plus the direction to the right. Five meters to the right is a vector because it has both magnitude and direction, both a distance measurement, a size, and the direction in which it went to the right. Now, if I tell you 32 degrees centigrade, all I've given you is the magnitude, the size of it alone. I haven't talked about any sort of direction of that temperature up or down. So that would just be a scalar. 32 degrees centigrade is a scalar. If I talk about um, five meters without giving you any direction. I've given you another scalar. If I talk about 256 megabytes, I've given you a scalar. I haven't given any change in direction, any change um, in, in the direction it's gone in the amount lesser or, or uh, more. All I've talked about is here magnitude, the size. Now if I say we traveled five miles north, I've just given you a vector. Magnitude, the measurement here, the size, five miles, and direction, north. And so when we think in terms of the golf ball, if I just said he drove it 285 yards, I've given you a scalar. But if I said he drove it 285 yards straight down the fairway, I've just given you a direction as well and a vector. Displacement, once again, is the main thing to take away from this video. That is the uh, movement, uh, the change in location from one place to another of matter. So the change from one location to another is called displacement. Think of a golf ball. Think of picking up and moving a box. Uh, matter moving from one place to another and displacement can be described once again it equals the final position minus the original position. Within displacement we can talk about scalars and vectors the difference between them being that vectors also include direction whereas scalars only have magnitude. If you need a study guide click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching click the next video.